Put your glasses up, put your glasses up, a toast to me. Good day, toasters. Thanks for joining. You got SD Booker. Thanks for pouring up a glass and a couple of shots of wisdom and knowledge and love with me. Thank you. Now, go ahead and hit that like button. If you have not subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Let's get into it. Michael Beasley. Uh, for you who don't know, Michael Beasley is a former NBA player. Uh, freakish talent. I've been saying this brother since he was in college. He's been in the league uh, maybe maybe 13, 14 years. Hasn't played in a couple of years uh, in the NBA. I think he's overseas now. But I recently saw him on a podcast, uh, The Pivot. The Pivot with uh, Ryan Clark, uh, Shannon Crowder, and uh, Fred Taylor all former uh, NFL players. Uh, they have a show, The Pivot, and uh, great interview, great interview. Uh, I don't believe they expected it to go that way. I think they were just expecting, all of them were just expecting to have an interview, but it, it, it turned into a, a counseling session, which was good because that brother, Michael Beasley, really needed it. And uh, it, it was a beautiful thing. Now, I won't go into every uh, detail of what that interview was about. You can go check it out. Uh, but I'll just deal with a few things. And what this brother really is suffering from is a lack of uh, EQ, emotional quotient, SQ, spiritual quotient. And I won't say IQ. I won't say IQ. I, I, don't, I don't know that. Uh, he seems pretty intelligent uh, on an intellectual level. So I wouldn't say that. But he's also lacking from accountability. Now, let me tell you, man, I, I speak about this a lot. You cannot take the victim role. You, you can't. You have to take the victor role and you can't say, woe is me. Man, none of us can control our childhoods. Now, many are under the belief like me that we choose to come back. We choose to come back to uh, uh, experience certain things, to, to pass certain tests, to gather certain lessons. But although you choose to come back, you don't get to choose the players, you know, the people in your life. You don't get to choose those people's experiences and what they bring into your life. You don't get to choose that. And so if everybody's coming back, our parents, if everybody's choosing to come back, our parents have chosen to come back. We have chosen to come back to learn certain things, but we don't get to choose who we're attached to and what each person experiences and how that affects us. We don't get to choose that. But the thing is, we have to take the time to get out of the victim role. And we have to remember, we have to sit, meditate, remember why we're here. Remember what we're supposed to be doing while we are here. And know everything we experience is to help ourselves and others. So I won't go into everything, but this brother really explained he came from a rough childhood, rough, rough childhood, a lot of abuse, a lot of neglect, uh, a lot of irresponsibility, drug use, robbery. Uh, he's seen people doing prison time, death, uh, moving back and forth, back and forth, different places never at the same school more than two years so um yeah just a, a, a lot of uh uh what was the word uh being unstable yeah he, he was unstable his home life was unstable and and that affected him i think that affected him not only emotionally but spiritually and psychologically i, I really do uh, and you can tell the pain in this in this guy's eyes uh, that that he's really suffering, and he can get out of that suffering, but it's going to take him getting out of the role, release that role of victim, and the woe is me, and how hard you had it, and you got to take the role of I chose to come back, I chose to experience this stuff. Or I was chosen to because I was entrusted to. I was entrusted to experience this so I could tell a story, so I could tell, help others. You know, that's a whole different mindset you have to have. 
opposed uh opposed to woe is me and I'm the victim and I had a rough life. You know, two things could be, you know, different but true. You know, he, he did have a, a rough life. Um but you know that's subjective because someone else you say that that's nothing. I experienced this. That's ten times worse. And that's another perspective you can have. Someone always has it worse. And so man you gotta get out of that position of a victim and understand Hey man, once we become of age, we're accountable for our actions. You know, we can't control uh, as a child what we incur, what we have to deal with, uh, position we're in. But we can all, we we can control how we treat people. And so, what I what I seen, what I heard in that interview is, you know, and I'm not picking on the brother, but he had a lot to say about what people did to him and how he can't trust people. But what has that brother done to others? Because we've all been hurt and we've all hurt people. And so that's the first thing, man. We got to be accountable. We got to be accountable for our own actions. And like I was talking to, to my guy Soul Immortal the other day, we got to have compassion, man. We got to have compassion for uh, strangers, for our family members, for our parents. And we got to be, be able to perceive ourselves and others to have compassion to see like I can understand why they did what they did. I can understand why they are the way they are. Now what we didn't get, what's going on with Michael Beasley's parents? Well his mom's dead and I believe his dad might be dead too, but what did they experience as children? You know, we don't know. So this is why man we can't really judge and we can't take on the victim role. We gotta have compassion for each other. And perceive our perceive ourselves in others, and to try to understand, like man, I don't know how I would be, how I would react if I was in those shoes, if I had those circumstances. I, I really don't know, and so that's another way to get out of that victim role, man. Being accountable, perceiving yourself in others, having compassion, man. A, a, another thing is, we really got to start meditating, people. You know, I don't stress that enough. We got to meditate. And we got to really start digging deep, doing that shadow work, facing our dark side, facing uh, our insecurities, our hurts. We got to really start doing that, facing the trauma that we suffered. We got to do that and, and go deep. A lot of us do not want to face ourselves. <clears throat> A lot of us don't. We do not want to face ourselves. We don't want to see the ugly uh, because, of course, it's not attractive. But I'm telling you, man, you do that shadow work. You face the ugliness of you, the darkness of you. Man, you do that, you'll come out victorious, man. You even, you'll get better. I promise you, man. You know, several years ago, this had to be about 25 years ago. Man, I was over 25. I, I was doing well, uh, and for the most part of my life, I've done well professionally. Uh, I always made decent money, you know, and that's, you know, money is... Uh, uh, subjective, you know, good money, decent money, little money, it's all subjective, right? Depending on who you're talking to and where you're at. But for my situation, where I'm at, I was making decent money always. Uh, but years ago, man, maybe 25, 30, maybe 25 years ago, I was living foul. Yeah, I was living really foul, uh, juggling quite a few women. Uh, Women not really pouring anything into me. Uh, I'm not really pouring anything righteous into them, but just exerting myself a lot, man, just living foul. And I can't say these were not decent women, you know, but I was living two lives, you know, and uh, it takes a toll on your brothers. But the thing is, I knew consciously I was wrong, you know, and, you know, uh, it was hard to live with myself, hard to really face myself. But one day, I was in the mirror, and uh, I just was staring at the mirror, looking at my reflection. Just really got deep, gazing. And man, I saw the darkest human being, not complexion-wise, although I am a dark brother. But I'm talking about I saw my soul. I saw my spirit was so dark. 
that it scared the hell out of me. It was like I was looking. I knew it was me, but I saw a darkness behind the surface. And man, that's when I started really doing some work and changing and, and being honest about who I am and who I'm not. And uh, that's that shadow work. That's when you start facing your darkness, man, and you start getting better. Just recently, I found out that that is called mirror gazing, and it's a therapeutic practice. Uh, I did not know the name of it. Uh, no one suggested that I do that. It just I was in that position where I just started doing that one day. Um, but that's a thing I just found out. That is a thing. Man, you got to do stuff like that. Face yourself. That's the only way you're going to get better. Face yourself. And this brother, Michael Beasley, man, there's a lot of people like that, man, that can't face themselves, can't be accountable, can't get out of their own way and, and be great. Although he, he's made it to the NBA with all of those issues, with all that trauma. Think about it. With all that trauma, with all that instability, he made it to the NBA. Think about that. That's a victory in itself. I wonder if he ever thinks about that. So if he faced his darkness, if he got out of the victim role, how far along could he be? Man, you got to be a success story. You want to be in a position, man, where you could be on YouTube, on a stage, writing a book, telling how you overcame that you're the victor, that you won, you won the battle, you won the war. That's the position you want to be in. You don't want to be in the position of pity. You want people to learn from your story and show them how you overcame. And that brother in, is in the right position to do that. But he has to see it. He has to know it. And just like some of you watching, man, you got to know it. That, man, you're in the right position to tell a great story. It, it, this is all it is, man. It's, it's a great story that you're living, and you get to tell it. You get to end it how you want to end it. Yeah, brothers, man, do that shadow work. Face your demons. Face yourself. Face that darkness, man. Get out of that victim role. You are a victor. And, and hey, man, we're going to push forward and succeed. Hey, as always, from me to you, love. Peace.